victory is sort of picking up the pieces, being less and carrying on. There's there's no yeah. great glory to be won here, is there? No, no. And I wonder also just about this, is this going to become our reference point? Yeah, yeah. You know, where were you? What happened to you in the pa pandemic? Like like uh, Americans used to say, where were you when Kennedy was shot? And later, where were you when the Twin Towers were struck? And I can actually remember those, yeah. these defining moments. And uh, and also, I guess, what what did we do during this time? And, and I know that, that uh, you know, when I lived in Germany, uh, obviously, I was meeting a lot of uh, people for the first time and hanging out with their parents as well. And there was this question, you know, wh what did you do during the war? You know, this is like, you know, which side were you on? And, and, uh, and you, know, you know, what people said, you know, I had no idea what was happening or whatever, you know, everyone's got a story to tell. And, and even in Italy today, they still in, in the town where our house is, they, they uh, talk about, oh, yeah, he's a partigiani. Yeah, he's yeah, a, yeah, you know, yeah, he's yeah, a, yeah, they yeah, still yeah. are, you know, yeah, identify yeah, yeah. certain people with these labels. So it was, uh, that was um, for many people a defining moment in defined who they were, which side they were on. And I wonder if the same thing is going to happen here in the pandemic, because we've had so many different responses. Uh, uh, you know, people who believed it was dangerous, people who thought it was yeah. a hoax. Uh, you know, what did you do during the pandemic? Is this what we're going to uh, talk to each other about when when we meet people for the first time? You know, what happened to you last year? Is this is this that moment? You know, isn't that extraordinary? So it's a sort of filter and everything past, present and future will go through that. What were you doing? What side were you on? I mean, there's more polarity now uh, with the with the George Floyd and the covid this the, mm. uh, and the politics of uh, popularism and so forth. Very much that sort of tribal idea. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, yeah. What sector were you in? How badly was it affected? Yeah. Lots is it things. just that is that going to be the first conversation we have with people? Yeah. And I suppose I suppose I, I wonder as well is that, you know, from a historical perspective, is how is art going to commemorate this time? Are we going to in five years time see lots of things presented in this lockdown environment or are we going to want to put it all behind us? Are we going to create a statue to the, the you know, the yeah, incredible yeah, number yeah. of people who died? How are we going to commemorate this? Is this going to be something we want to forget and move on from? Or is this going to be something that we return to in film and television in music? You know, I mean, we're still singing, you know, we'll meet again. Yes, uh, yes aren't yes, we? Yes, you know, yes, I mean, yes. it's still, you know, it's still part of our part of our, our shared experience. You're I, more, and, and I guess you're more musical ahead. than I who is the new Vera Lynn? Yeah, who is the Vera Lynn? Who is who is commemorating this? You know, uh, and and there are people commemorating it. And of course, there have been loads of music about uh, uh, musical advice about what to do during lockdown. We've seen some fabulous yes. cheesy things yes. on YouTube yes. uh, from uh, various different countries. I mean, absolutely hilarious. But is this you know how how is this how are we going to look back on this? And I guess the other question is, Matthew, are we going to go back? to something yeah. that yeah. seemed normal yeah. or is there some new normal or are we going to go forward and i think as we start this year that's what we're going to consider and i guess we don't really know because it's one step at a time well also when we started this gig this channel was chucked up as a temporary pop-up i think we called it a summer pop-up well we're not calling it a summer pop-up now it, mm. it's like you know what when you know we can look back when we can look back we can't look back we're still we're still right in the middle of it which is which yeah. is scary i must have just said also you know the day job uh, musicians I and mean, that seemed to be one of the most brutal yeah. things retraining Desperate. as programmers oh my word Thoughts yeah 70 percent of people leaving the profession that's what i heard oh, and, and you know it was never a you know it was never a chirpy cheap cheap easy peasy <laughs> profession in the first place uh so i think and, and, you know, as someone was saying to me recently, the, for, for the next year, the next year and a half, there will be no touring because it's yeah. just too dangerous. Yeah. It's yeah. too expensive. Yeah. And if one person gets COVID, they have to shut everything down. Yeah. So, yeah. and again, you know, theater, the same thing, you know, when, you know, I just spoke to someone recently who said, yeah, I'm going to be in the West End in the Criterion Theater directing a show in March. It's like, really? Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. And, and let's, let's, let's hope it does. Let's hope it all does come back. But will it I, I don't know what do you think hope for the best prepare for the worst no i, I can't quite see it i can't quite see it uh, we, we're getting physical gigs can he be here in february and i'm thinking mm, I, I can't really see that happening can't really see that happening but yeah well i, I did a face-to-face -face gig a five-day gig and on day three we had the covid scare yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. we had that somebody somebody whose husband had a had it was a doctor had a fever had all the symptoms and we had to v send her out of the room 
and do a secret ballot to vote whether to continue or not. Wow. No, that's that's how it is. That's how you it know, is. fascinating. And, and it was just it was one of those seat of the pants moments. It's like, oh, my, what do we do now? And, and in the end, they all voted to let her stay. We put her in a mask and uh, stuck her in the corner. Wow. And then, of course, on Friday, she gets the message. Her husband uh, tested negative. <laughs> yes. So this is it. This is what this is. This is I mean, for me. That was just like a just like a sign of how things are going to be. We're going to be living with this in some kind of way. Well, that was the, you know, for the reasonable future. That was the classroom as a casino. Let's uh, no more bets, please. No more bets, please. Yeah. <laughs> negative. Who put their money on negative? Wow. Yes. It's pretty strong, isn't it? Pretty strong. All right, mate. So, no, I, I, I love it. So probably we've, we've, we've got on long enough for our New, Year, New, Year mess- New Year's message to the people. <laughs> it, and I love it, that, that defining moment. You know, my mother is still very much locked in war memories with Stalin, the Enigma machine and rationing and all the rest of it. Yeah. Win- Brown wins a soup. Um, you know, what, what, what people, you know, let's just look at that. You know, um, the Anderson shelter and what did you mm. do and uniforms yeah. and... And all this sort of stuff. I mean, COVID lockdown and the what's it, the lights out thing? What was that called? The um, the blackout. I mean, yes, there are there yeah. are quite a few parallels to this. So, do you, what do you think will be carried forward in fifty years' time? Well, I think that's a good question, I, and I wonder if uh, in fifty years' time or forty years' time, someone like like uh, like Salman Rushdie did with Midnight's Children, his book. You know, he wrote this book about what it was like being born, you know, on the day of Indian independence of being this generation. Yeah. I wonder again if. This is a new generation in some kind of way that life will change, that we will go on. We will go back to something, but it will be we will also go forward to something. And I wonder if in 40 years time, someone will write a book about someone born, you know, yeah, yeah. At, at, at the beginning of the pandemic and living a life now in this phase. Uh, you know, just just curious. Again, this is what we'll, we'll wait to see. And I guess what I'd like to ask the uh, the listeners, the watchers out there is yeah. what will be the art? I mean, right. You know, yeah. please write a note. Yeah. What yeah. how will we commemorate this? What will be the song? What will be the uh, yeah. Yeah. what will be the movie? And uh, who and if it was your movie, who would play you? I think that'd be great. Very um, good. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right, mate. Uh, thank you very much for your kind words of wisdom. Great to see you again after a fairly long pause and good to see you being chipper and healthy. Thanks, viewers, for your continued support. Cheers, people. We'll see you next time. See ya. All right, bye-bye.